Okay, we're going to solve this linear equation. As you see, it has multiple terms with a U in it. So that's what we're going to start with is by combining the terms with the variable. And take a look at how I um, do that. So I'm including the signs in front of each term. So we're going to combine those together. So that's a minus 8U plus a 2U. So a negative 8 plus a positive 2 is a negative 6U. So that's what I'm going to get there and bring down the rest of the problem right here. So, so far I'm not solving the equation yet. I'm just simplifying the right side because I had multiple terms. And now I'm left with this 23. 23 equals negative 6u minus 7, which is a two-step equation. So we're going to solve this two-step equation. Uh, I like to identify that there are two sides of the equation, the right and the left. And so we're trying to isolate uh, for u. So here, what we're going to deal with is the constant or the number by itself. It's minus 7. So we do the opposite, which is add 7. So we're going to add 7 here so that these will cancel out. But like I showed earlier, there's two sides of the equation. So whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So since I add 7 to cancel, I'm going to add 7 to this 7, 23 over there and get my result. My result is 23 plus 7 is 30. E bring down the equal sign. Bring down the minus 6u. And now, uh, let me give me a little more space right there. And now I want to get this u or continue to get the u isolated or by itself and it's being multiplied by six so i'm going to divide by a negative six and again whatever i do to one side i do to the other side and uh, here the negative six cancels here the 30 30 divided by negative six gives me uh, negative uh, five so let me get some space right there so i get negative five equals u. Okay, so here I'm going to do a second example just uh, so you can see. So here we have another equation with we have 5u plus 6 minus 12u equals negative 29. Again, we want to solve for u, meaning we want to isolate for u. And since we're solving, you know, there's two sides, the left side and the right side. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, combine any similar terms so, or like terms is what we call them combining like terms and so I have the 5u the, the variable term so I have a 5u and again I have the minus 12 you see how I include the sign in front of each term so the 5u is a positive 5 the 12u is a negative so if I combine those together again I get a negative 7u and then I bring down the rest. So I have plus 6, bring down the equal sign, negative 29. Okay, so there's no more like terms. There's no U terms and no number terms to combine on this left side over here. So now I'm going to go ahead and start solving this equation. So once again, I start off with the constant. In this case, it's the plus 6. And so to, in order to cancel that plus 6 or adding 6, I do the opposite, which is subtract 6. I'm going to subtract 6 from the left so that it cancels out. And like I said earlier, whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. Now here is where some students get a little confused of what do I do here? What do I do here? Do I add these numbers? Do I subtract these numbers? What? Well, one thing that I, I usually ask is, well, if, if the 29 was a positive 29, it would just say 29 minus 6. And so you would just regularly subtract. But since this is not a positive 29, it's a negative 29, I do the opposite. So here I'm going to actually add these two numbers together. And they're going, the result is going to be a negative 35. So now that I have this negative 35 on the right side, I need to still continue to get u by itself. It's being multiplied by negative 7. So that means I'm going to divide by negative 7 so that my u is by itself. And whatever I do to one side, 
I do to the other, so I have that negative 7 over there. So u equals a negative 35 divided by a negative 7 is a positive, what, 5. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. So there you go.